What's up, Amazon gang? It's your girl, Jazz, hanging around here. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so I'm super, super excited because I just came home. It's your girl, Jazz, hanging around. And I got a package and I started opening it, but I was like, I always wanted to do like a package opening on camera. And this is from one of my besties in the Tessie for the wedding. <laughs> so, wait. Dang. Okay, we good there. I'm very much excited, y'all. And then after I do a revealing of what's in the box, then... I'll catch y'all up on my life. Okay. All right. Girl. <laughs> this is so exciting. This is so cute. Okay. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Can you see it still? Okay. I'm so excited. It's my first time bringing bridesmaid, so I'm super, super excited. Like, I can't wait. And today is her birthday, and I called her and texted her. Do you think that I have an answer to the phone? No. Oh, oh it smells good. Okay, we got a little, a little greenery. This wedding is going to be lit, period. <laughs> this wedding is gonna be lit. Ooh, that smells good. I'm so excited. Okay. We got a little candle, a little contact mirror. <laughs> Not to have it to hold your hair back. It says bridesmaid on it. Cause you know, we gotta make sure that the girls is girly. Mm. Period. She's cute. She's cute. I love it. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it back in the plastic though. This is funny. This says to have it to have and to hold your hair back because <laughs> shots for everyone. And then that last. I'm going to girl, this um, desert rose color that you got going on, okay? Stressful. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. I can't tie the knot without you. Will you be my bridesmaid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be calling my phone talking about, I have to tell you something. It sounded like you all loped. And then you damn, will you be my bridesmaid? Yes, I'll be your bridesmaid. Like, duh. What's going to say no? That's just rude. Okay, what do this card say? Girl, first of all, I'm very thankful I still got my vision because <laughs> the way this is written and how teeny and tiny. She been writing like this for. Oh, how long? Oh, 2003. It's 2023. Oh, bitch, I know it's been 20 years. Oh, not the 20 years, girl. Okay. I think you know this, but you are a whole vibe. 
and it's something I've admired for decades at this point. Two decades, girl. Two decades. We was children, okay? We as grown people now. Today's your 35th birthday. All right, we was 14. <laughs> girl. Uh, your joy radiates a room. I'm thankful for your friendship. Thank you for arguing, agreeing. It looked like arguing. I was like, thank you for arguing to celebrate. What? Thank you for agreeing to celebrate with me. Shay Gray, mm -hmm. love you, boo. I got my vibes. I got my vibes. I got my vibes. Look. Get my name on it. I love seeing my name written in cursive. Cause, duh. And when I tell you what I tell you, it's shots for everybody. So get ready because we about to be in uh, the place on the Saturday, the win. For them couple of days, it's drinks. On top of drinks. On top of drinks. On top of drinks. I'm so excited. I love this hair tie though. To having to hold your hair back because look, I got a ponytail, y'all. Mm, period. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so exciting. I got my box for I got my box. Will you be my bridesmaid? Uh duh. Yes, to having to hold for richer, for poor, for sickness and health to death do us part. We 20 years in the game, baby. Okay, for 20, another 20 more, 40 more, 60 more. Okay, let's get it. Period. Period. It's a phone. I just wanted to pop on in and give you guys a little bit of a life update. If you are watching this video from the beginning, you will see that I am going to be a bridesmaid for one of my best friends. It is 20 years this year. We've been friends for 20 years, you guys. 20 years. I was like, 20 years, y'all. 20 years, y'all. And she asked me to be a bridesmaid and I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So if you see this video, boo, duh, of course I'll be your bridesmaid. She had a hair, well, y'all saw it earlier, but the hair tie said to have it to hold, hold your, your hair, hair back. back. Yes, because <laughs> I got a ponytail, okay, period. The last time y'all saw me when I started my journey, ooh. Come on, muscle, look at me. But when I started this journey, I had my little my little things thing and look at this. Look at this. Length, maturity, and period. But I just wanted to hop on here really quick, just kind of update you guys with what's been going on with me. It's been a year since I had my surgery. It's been a year since I had my surgery. And I told you guys that I wanted to bring you guys along the journey, keep you guys updated with everything going on with um, my brain tumor, pituitary gland. Um, prolaxinoma, all of the names. So long story long, long story short, on today is the 8th, on the 6th, which was two days ago, marked a year that I had my surgery. Um, and as you guys know, when I started this journey, I was on like a weight loss journey trying to get my health together my fitness together my body together and all of that stuff and i'll be proud to say that i have lost a sub substantial amount of weight if you go back to my earlier videos when i started recording and now you can see my face now look at that you can see my jawline my cheeky cheeky bones the muscles okay the muscles okay and if i had a uh, um, no sleep top on what I call football shoulder. You'll see my football shoulder. I always thought that was kind of sexy a woman, like not too, too like big with the uh, 
football shoulder, but just right. So, uh, Thursday marked a year since my surgery, and I'm actually feeling really, really good. Um, I have not been having the headaches or like those pulsating stresses that I was having before. I got it one time I can distinctly remember. I was in the car and this guy was not paying attention behind me and he was driving up on me and I couldn't get to, well, I couldn't go on this side and I couldn't move over there because there was a car. So I was watching him not pay attention and just miss hitting the, and ramming in the back of my car. And when that happened, I did get like a sharp pain over here. But for the most part, I have um, been pretty good. I've been trying to keep that regulated and everything. I lost a lot of weight. I pretty much go to the gym every single day. And I, I, I will say that I, I, when I say every single day, out of a good month, I probably go to the gym four days out of the week. Um, when I'm really ODing, I would go like five days out of the week, but anywhere between like three and four days out of the week, I'm doing some type of physical activity, whether it's in the gym or whether it's me just catching a trail. And just last week, I started running again because I noticed that my cardio <clears throat> was kind of slack to say the least. And when I say running, I do not mean full out sprints. I do not mean long distance running. I mean a nice brisk jog on a trail to keep my heart rate up. That's that. That's what I mean. But over 60 something pounds, I lost. And then I went to the Dominican and then turned around and went to the Bahamas. And... I have been fluctuating between 10 and 15 pounds trying to get rid of them from those two trips. But that's what I get because eating fresh food and drinking great alcohol, it happens. I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. As far as the PGT, or PTG, pituitary PGT, pituitary gland tumor, I've been doing a really good. I don't have any pains. Or anything like that I the same two days ago I did go to my doctor as well my endocrinologist and I have a follow-up appointment in a couple weeks with my ENT doctor the ear neck and throat doctor um, just to make sure that there's no thyroids of course but I don't have thyroids this is just my voice but because of the tumor, they got to double check and make sure, um, make sure that everything in here healed good. Um, this is healing good. So I have to go to do that in a couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> but I had my appointment with my endocrinologist two days ago. I got some blood work done last week. Um, no diabetes levels. Uh, my stress is high. So I'm trying to regulate that. Um, I struggle with that a little bit, a lot of bit, not a little bit, a lot of bit. Um, my cholesterol was higher than what it was the last time. I'm not in a danger zone, but my doctor did say that I need to get it under control. And because I eat pretty good, and I work out pretty regularly. She was saying it's not from what you eat, honestly, because you lost so much weight um, and you are pretty physical, but it could be hereditary, but I don't have um, a history of high cholesterol in my family. And then other factors are the sleeping, stress, anxiety, things like that. And I've always suffered from anxiety from when I was a little kid before it was like a thing. Um, and then I, I stress, I, I do tend to hyper stress and, you know, what some may call a functioning depressant or whatever the case is, but uh, I'm trying to work on it and try to be better. Um, 
but for the most part i've been doing good i um i'm excited for the wedding my best friend's wedding i'm really excited about that i got laid off from work um which is unfortunate because they laid me off and a couple other people due to funding but they're hiring right now and promoted someone which is kind of questionable so that was a little disheartening but you know we'll figure it out everything happens for a reason that's what they say and I don't know maybe this time I'm just supposed to focus on me and my brand and my businesses and at the same time still trying to find work as well but it's just hard when you're like trying to focus on all of these things at one time but then it's like a ricochet of things that happens one thing after another after another after another after another and like you're in your head and you're trying not to be in your head you know what I mean but it's kind of hard not to be in your head because the shit that's happening is just like right there in your face you can't really escape it We lost Chevy. Uh, Chevy and Chino are both up there now. We lost Chevy two months ago, it was two months on the fourth. Um, his internal organs were starting to fail. He started to bleed pee. And it was hard because I was really trying to figure out if I should just keep him until like the very last moment or you know put him to sleep earlier than probably what I wanted to put him to sleep I was looking over here because my sister gave me a portrait of him a couple Christmases ago and he used to sit in this corner all the time so I uh have that portrait there Chino's there Chevy's up there yeah, I got their pictures and stuff everywhere. But you know, it's it's been an adjustment. Last month of June, I said that that month I was gonna, you know, kind of take to myself and work on myself and detox from social media and work on my resume and you know things like that and just try to 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 focus truly and solely on me and then when the stuff at work happened it was like I'm kind of forced even more now to work on myself but the way that it happened it was it was a little shifty and a little shady and I didn't like how it happened but last month what I did was record at the end of each week I recorded and I didn't record the last weekend in June I don't think I did because it should have been Sunday I should have recorded this week but I guess this video can kind of be like that video um so I just recorded at the end of the week for for personally for me to see if anything has changed in my mind frame from the first video to the last video um to see what I need to work on or what where I need to continue to work what I need to continue to work towards you know what I mean? Kind of going back and forth, back and forth, if I wanted to um, post them as well, or if I just wanted to keep it for myself. I don't know. The girls be like, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think, if I should post them or if I should keep it to myself. I always find value in like po posting certain things that may quote unquote be personal because you never know who it can help and it might even be able to help you um but just me thinking about it right now is like increasing my anxiety and i feel my heart racing a little bit so i'm not going to think about it right now i'm just going to if my spirit says to post it then i will post it but if not then i won't you know i just i'm just trying to be better man i'm just i'm really trying to heal internally um, to match my external because I feel like my external is on 
the right path of what I've always wanted it to be. Uh, but mm, my internal, I'm, I'm having a hard time with it. Because right when I said, you know what, I'm going to start going back to therapy and start going back to getting some counseling. After my terrible experience from a couple of years ago, then I lose my job and now I have to prioritize what makes the most sense to do. So it's really, it's really difficult right now because I was like, damn, I was just one foot in the door. And unfortunately, I have not found like a therapist out here where I'm at that is like a reasonable price. And I'm not, I, I don't want to do better health because I don't want to text the person that I'm talking to all the time. I actually want to talk to somebody, but hmm. other than that, everything else has been good. No headaches, um, no eye twitches, no runny eyes, no runny nose. My throat doesn't hurt. Um, nothing going on in my neck. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, but I think that's it though, for real. Just a little bit of what's been going on. Just trying to figure out my next move, my next step, my next journey. Figure out what's next for me. Shit, if y'all know what's next for me, let me know. Let me know, goddamn, because my sister need a job. My sister need a work. I just want to not worry about stuff. I just want to break, you know? Sometimes you just be wanting a break. I just want to break from the bullshit. I just feel like it's always bullshit. I can't ever catch a break for it. And I'm, I don't want to be the strong one anymore. I want to be the person that I could lean on somebody and be like, I need you, please be that for me. But you know, motherfuckers got their own shit going on. You know, all this shit just be, just be whatever. It just be whatever. And I can't just pop a bottle back and drink like that because you know, the health, the mental, my brain, my heart, gotta keep these things functioning. But I'm okay though. I mean, I'm not okay, but as far as the tumor, we good, baby. I'm the one thing I'm not feeling though. They was like, you gotta get an MRI every year. No, <laughs> absolutely not. First of all, y'all know this. I have said this a million times. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> not doing that every year. Every couple of years, fine. Every year, no. But I'm okay. I'm here. I'm walking. I'm alive. I'm well. Try not to stress. And you know. We just going to get it done, get it popping. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the vibe. I got to figure out like a a little um, a little slogan or whatever. Because, you know, everybody be like, And y'all know me. I'm dry as toast. <laughs> That's not my vibe. That's not my stilo. I feel, but I do feel like I need to get like an introduction. I mean, I guess I do got an introduction. What's up, Amos All Gang? It's your girl, Jazz, hanging around. <laughs> but, yeah. So, it's your girl, Jazz, hanging around. Hope you enjoyed this video, a little life update. Uh, maybe I should just do life update vlogs. I don't know. Um,. But yeah, go ahead and make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. That's all I got. Jazz hanging around on Instagram. 
and um, hit me up at the get down and the get down. Leave a comment down below. And we're going to keep it moving, man. Oh, before I get out of here, just make sure, just make sure that whatever it is that y'all got going on in your life and your hearts, just make sure that uh, one, you got a, a support system that definitely can just uh, be there for you. And if it's not your support system, at least just one person that you can truly lean on and reach on and, uh, you know, be just have someone to be there for. But just aside of that, just make sure that you're like being the best human being that you could possibly be. Um, try to be there for people. Try to help those that need help that's in your wheelhouse to help. And uh, just try to find your peace, man. Try to find your, your, your inner peace, your inner solace, the things that make you happy, you know? And uh, if you can do that, I think that all good things will come to you. There won't be anything that you will never be able to do. So with that being said, like I said before, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what's tea, what's good. Follow me on Instagram at Jazz Hanging Around. Soon to be that brace face, girl. Ooh.